Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, bit of weakness here over the last few hours. Um, that might indicate to an upcoming change in the wave count here that I have to do that I'm going to take you through. I'm not entirely sure if we have to do it, but I think it will end probably like that. Okay, so where are we at the moment? Here's still in this one, two, three, four, five wave pattern. So an imp impulsive wave structure we've got forming here. Um, at least that is what the bullish, <clears throat> the bullish scenario would suggest with a 60% probability. Um, where we counted a wave one here in end of June, then a wave two ABC to the downside as a correction middle of July. And now we are in this third wave and within this third wave we've got our subwaves playing out at the moment here a one a two and then another one two on our way into a wave three here uh, you can also count it bearish um, the bearish possibility would be a wxy pattern that i showed now a few times as well but if i don't do it i always get asked why do you not talk about the bearish one <laughs> here it is <clears throat> it's just because it's not my um not my primary expectation but um it will it will um, it will become the primary expectation should we definitely should we go below the 18.8k levels 18,850 that wave too low and already below 20,722 we have to which is this wave too low already there we will have to consider it much more seriously again and also should we go up to 25,755 and bounce off from that level quite impulsively that would be another point where we will really need to unpack the bearish scenario much uh, with much more importance because um, this is a very important level here for the y wave yeah because the wave y has its ideal target at this twenty five thousand seven hundred and fifty five dollar level had a few questions can you can you um count this as an expanded flat, basically a leading diagonal, which is possible. Yeah. Um, it's just a different kind of wave pattern um, where you would count this as a one, this as a two, then you would need to try to count this as a, as a three. That would be the four. And then we would be in the wave five to the upside. Yeah, um, this is possible and that, that I think there are various ways to be fair how this can be counted. Uh, you can even count this as a two, this as a three and so on. So there are various ways of doing it um, for an expanded flat. However, it's not a scenario I would make my primary expectation. I would try to exhaust all other options first because a leading expanding diagonal for Bitcoin extremely unusual especially after a strong wave 2 correction that we've seen over the last few months so i wouldn't consider this even though just because it's possible to count it doesn't mean it's likely for the market it's always something that needs to be considered um it's the same way yeah it's it's the same thing as um this is basically the daily chart you know when we came when we came down from this B wave, yeah. So obviously this is the longer time frame outlook where we moved up here into May or April 21 with an impulsive, oops, an impulsive wave one for Bitcoin. We then came down in this wave two. We might still be in the wave two. You know that's what we don't know yet. Um, but within this wave two, we had this wave A. We had an overshooting wave B and the wave C. And I've been telling you throughout, yeah, I think from the moment on when we broke below 58K that we have to go below 28.6K. And that is because I understood that this wave pattern, the most likely wave pattern now has to be an A, B, C. So basically this is an expand flat where you make three waves here in your wave A. You move up in your overshooting wave B yeah, in an overshooting wave B and then in, in the wave C you have to go lower than the low of the wave A. I've been, um, oh, what's the right word? So a lot of people asked about uh, or commented, no, 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 it is a running flat. 
a running flat where you, yes, you come down in your wave A, same wave pattern, you move up in your overshooting wave B, but the wave C can end above the wave A, the so-called expanded flat pattern. Those were all the, all the bulls in the market yeah, that um, were sure we were doing a running flat. In that case, we could have moved up from here. We could have moved up from here. But two things about that. A running flat is probably the, the most unusual flat pattern or even corrective pattern that there is. So for me, it didn't make any sense. It's a bit like the expanded flat pattern now. And in addition to that, what was coming up here was not impulsive. It was a corrective wave structure, but that's another story. So let's go uh, into the more imminent wave count. Um, not too many news here. We're still in this. We're still in this channel. Yeah, Bitcoin hasn't managed to break out. And I think in the end we have to go back to my original wave count, um, the one that I found most likely um, from the beginning, which is that this year was the wave three that this year was the wave let me just think um four and there are different ways of doing this but um that this year that, that there's another sub wave i need to put in and that um this year then was the wave one okay so basically that we had an overshooting wave b that's basically what i what i told you from the beginning but I changed it. Um, but this scenario would be that A, B, and then C. Yeah. Um, that makes more sense if we now make another low. So should we now make another low, we will have to um, change it to an expanded flat pattern. Because at the moment, what we can do, we can basically, um, if I adjust this here to the WXY pattern that we talked about before. So we had, let's say the wave one ended here as I had it just now. We came down in a wave W, we moved up in a wave X, and then we moved down in a wave Y. And within the Y wave, we've obviously seen here the wave A already, we've seen the wave B, and the wave C can also be counted as complete. Now we would expect the breakout to the upside, but then we would have to break out. So we tried that yesterday, then we would have to break out of the channel and it should all be good. I mean, we reached the reversal area, so it's all fine. Yeah, we don't need to drop any lower. It, it could now start to move. But if it doesn't, and if it makes another low, I'll adjust my wave count to... Um, let me just take that out. I might just do it now, just to show you. Um, that we then had an A down, a B up, and this is a C, because then we can count very nicely, and that's the main reason why I do it, and we can count in the wave C very nicely five waves. So we have here wave one, that would be a two. Then we come down in the three, one, two, three. Yeah, we come down in a wave three, and what we have done here then is an elite wave triangle, yeah, there are different options again to, to count this, but one way would be to count it as a triangle. And then we would be coming down in one more wave here in a wave five, okay? Uh, but also then I would expect the breakout to the upside. So at the moment we can still, what, what remains is really that we can um, continue to be carefully bullish um, overall based on the overall wave count. Um, one more thing to mention here, if we do it like that and we take the try to figure out the length of that fifth wave, we will take here the um, we will take the length of the wave one, we add it to the wave four high, and that would take us to roughly 22k here for the wave one. So keep keep that in mind. The wave four will end now. Nah. Though if it's a triangle, the wave four needs to end here. Okay, let's keep it on the chart like that. Um, both scenarios are possible. Overall, I would still be carefully bullish uh, just because we can based on the wave count. That's what the wave count at the moment suggests. Again, this will change should we drop below 20,722. So best to allow, again, for both options. I'm just, just following what the, what the waves are suggesting at the moment. Um, but again, the WXY pattern also possible. Uh, we need to see which one is going to play out here. Still uncertainty in the market. 
and I'll keep you updated. All right, so hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.